is a quick video of the first impression um, first use of the new 56 Pro so you can see just cut this lawn here uh, it was last cut about two three weeks ago um, so let's quickly see how the bag's done obviously it's key thing see how they've improved it is dry bearing in mind so yep only half a bag uh, nothing in the street so as you know there's already been a few videos about these from last year um, they're widely the same from what we saw at Soltex and the uh, press day thing the only thing they have changed same on the 48 is this metal here it was a black strip that went down down like that but that's no big deal whatsoever um, and I think that's it uh, and yeah well as that literally picked it up, picked up today I uh, have even I got the dealer to leave the uh, film on there just for a little while and yeah so far like with all new machines they work really well got my uh, favorite thing in the world there just tilt it so and see the blade there's a big talking point fairly big uh, it's new design and he's got these lumps which i think they had on the previous mower not too sure what they're for <laughs> uh, big gearbox huge huge rollers on these as i say the widest in in the push self propel mower market and i've got these which hater haven't talked about these strips which just go on yeah as well which is a nice little <coughs> nice little design and yes uh, so as you can expect there'll be quite a few videos on this throughout the year uh, I am still using the 41 Pro got a few lawns on one day a week which I have to carry up steps or very small gates but it's useful 48 has possibly taken over the Toro Pro line the 21 inch on a lot of jobs just because I think it bags better I uh, have used it on some wet lawns and it does do quite well I will still keep all the Toros and obviously this monster for a lot of the work so stay tuned, please like, share and subscribe.